Welcome everybody, thanks for joining me today. My name is Lisa Unterberg and I'm with the Institute for Automation and Communication based in Magdeburg, Germany. And at IFAC, industrial automation is in the center of our attention. So we're focusing on the applications point of view. This is why we developed an approach to stress test the communication network from the applications point of view. Currently I'm standing in front of the building, the Galileo test site saxony Anhalt, where we typically conduct our performance testing. So let's go and take a look inside. As an industrial environment is often challenging to wireless communication networks, we're using this test site as a reference environment, emulating a real-world industrial facility. During performance testing a wireless network, we carefully create reproducible conditions. By this, we ensure that the testing results of different technologies, devices or even prototype versions are comparable. For the emulation of movement of a certain speed, we're using a motion measurement station. While the performance parameters are observed, the devices moved along the station's trajectory. Wireless devices are usually connected to an industrial application or integrated into one. For example, a PLC and its devices. In order to analyze the communication network's performance from the application's point of view, we connect these wireless devices then to our measurement equipment. The multiphases emulate an industrial application. For example, the communications transfer interval is reproducible with an accuracy of less than one microsecond. If we want to create even more stressful conditions, like a distance larger than we have here in our reference environment, we use our laboratory at IFAC. Luckily, it's just a few minutes walk away. In our laboratory, the wireless devices are put into shielded boxes and connected by wire to a channel emulator. The channel emulator attenuates the signal according to a preset. Performance testing from an industrial application's point of view is challenging and yet indispensable when trying to decide whether technology is suitable for a specific application or not. This is also recognized by 5G ACIA, who published a white paper on performance testing of 5G systems in industrial automation in April 2021. And with that, thanks for your time and back to the studio, to Afif. Thank you, Lisa. Lisa, you mentioned the 5G ACIA white paper on performance testing. Can you tell us more about it? Performance testing from the industrial applications point of view is challenging and yet indispensable when trying to determine whether a communication network is suitable to meet a specific application requirements or not. So um, the mentioned white paper um, provides a step-by-step -step explanation of what to consider when preparing and conducting performance tests. For example, um, the performance parameters to be measured and the baseline parameters to be described are defined. And um, from my point of view, I think it's a really worthwhile white paper to spend some time on as the presented concept of performance testing is a universal one. That means that it can be not only applied to a 5G network, um, a standalone 5G network, for example, but also to hybrid networks like a 5G network in combination with a legacy industrial Ethernet network, for example. Lisa, speaking of hybrid networks, 5G in particular release 16 will support time-sensitive networking protocol that is expected to be widely used in the coming years in manufacturing. Can you explain A, if there is any relation to the current technologies based on industrial Ethernet networks? And B, can you tell us more about the characteristics of these industrial Ethernet networks? So industrial Ethernet-based communication networks are current state-of-the-art in industrial application, in industrial automation. They are typically grouped into three classes, class A for best effort traffic, class B for real-time traffic, also referred to sometimes as soft real-time traffic, as opposed to class C, which is um, aimed at isochronous real-time, um, also referred to as hard real-time sometimes. In class B and C, these networks have similar characteristics. They all provide layer 2 communication, so without using IP uh, communication, um, they work in short communication cycles with cycle times of less than one millisecond, for example. 
They have a high number of very small packets to be transported, which uh, of course uh, correlates with the small cycle time. They all enable a highly precise synchronization, which is crucial for a distributed application to synchronize its distributed clocks to enable um, a high co highly complex automation task. Uh, they do that typically with a jitter of less than uh, one microsecond. So this is a really crucial characteristic that the industrial automation application relies on when using this industrial Ethernet based network. And last but not least, these networks also um, support functional safety protocols. In this context, TSN is able to provide layer 2 mechanisms that are compatible with these industrial Ethernet-based communication networks. And this compatibility allows the uh, legacy networks to be extended, for example, by a TSN network. So it is uh, possible to form a hybrid network that uh, suits the application requirements best. Many thanks. My final question to you. What are the main industrial control application use cases that we expect 5G to support? So first of all, industrial control applications are a topic that is so diverse that uh, 5G ACIA published an entire white paper on that topic. So just to name some examples of areas where we can find industrial control applications where 5G networks will be deployed successfully um, are the areas of motion control, control to control communication or control to sensor, control to actuator communication. There's also motion control, mobile robots, remote access and maintenance, closed loop process control, um, process monitoring and plant asset management. Typically, there are three use cases in which a 5G network can be deployed to support these uh, applications. The first um, use case is the controller-to-controller -controller communication or also line controller-to-controller -controller communication. Secondly, the device-to-controller communication. And thirdly, the device-to-compute communication. And if you are interested in more information on that topic, please refer to the 5G ACIA white paper on the integration of industrial Ethernet networks with 5G networks.